Both of these teams have made a conscious effort to run the ball more this year, and they've done so effectively. Cousins deep down the field and caught. First down and much more. Right, and they go right after Hicks with Vernon Davis. Hicks fell down, and he's hurt. And Vernon Davis. And Jay Gruden is giving him that chance. From 27 yards, the former Texas Longhorn. Freeland's playing with a knee that caused him to come out of last week's game against San Francisco. Wentz. Out of the end zone, long, wobbly pass that's intercepted. Both left by a free agency. And the group that is here really has not stepped up. There's a catch in the secondary. Vernon Davis, another big gainer. Both playing well. Cousins has a man wide open. Thompson will walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Well, how do you blow coverages against Chris Thompson? Backup linebackers, Nigey Good, number 52. No formation. Is it Bradham or is it Good? A week ago, Thursday, sacked three times, hit eight other times. He has really earned the respect of his teammates with that top. Just going for a deep ball, has a man behind the defense. It's caught for a touchdown. The rookie, Mac Hollins. With his first career touchdown, 64 yards. Two-minute drill at the end of both halves. And even the most easygoing of the Gruden brothers starting to get a little fired up on that sideline. Here's Lance deep down the field and caught. Still on his feet, Zach Ertz, and he's tripped up. He's had a lot more input into the offense this year as he's learned more, and the coaches have more faith in his ability. Make adjustments to the line of scrimmage. In the flat, nice move, and Zach Ertz. Beat Swearinger after the catch with open field running. Meet Vitae on a critical third down. They have left Lane Johnson at right tackle. Put Vitae in at left tackle for Peters. Wentz, the zone read. Take the blunt much more than the first down. He rumbles down to the 27 yard line. Wentz stays on his feet, gets it off, and it's a touchdown. Corey Clement, the rookie out of Wisconsin. Morgan Moses, who's gone out a couple of times, is in it right tackle. Cousins got away from Cox, needs to get rid of it. Waited much too long. Malcolm Jenkins, the sack. And first and goal from inside the five. The quick slant to Jordan Reed for a Washington touchdown. That's impressive. Kirk Cousins hung in there, made some great deliveries, and Jordan Reed on a one-step bullet slant makes this real interesting. One-step bullet slant. Cousins almost crouched like he dropped the snap. He crouches. Gets up and throws a dart. What was the point of the crouch, do you think? Well, he's probably trying to hide. 7 out of 10 against the Blitz. They're lined up as if they're coming after him, and they do. And he's in trouble. Wentz will be escaping from the 18-yard line. How in the world did that happen? First down out to the 44-yard line. He's just breaking the hearts of the Washington Redskins. Wendell Smallwood gets run over. Was he down? Where did he go? Amazing. He communicates it. Everybody has it. And then he executes it to sheer perfection. Play action pass. He fools the underneath coverage in the street. Let's see what happens. Cousins deep drop, running out of time, and he got hit as he threw it. It's picked off. Corey Graham shoved out of bounds by Chris Thompson. Looked like they got enough of Cousins to alter that throw right into the lap of the 10-year veteran out of the University of New Hampshire, Graham. Pass rush. It's all the pass rush. Graham, 55. Gets a piece of Kirk Cousins' arm. He causes the interception. And just like Fletcher Cox did it to Cam Newton last week. Locked him away. And Jake Elliott has become an immediate fan favorite. And that won't change as he's good from 42. He fires one for Reed who lunges into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington.